So you've heard about the acronym and are now wondering what is an OSS and what is a BSS? Well, I'm Ryan Jeffrey and I am passionate about OSS. So let's go ahead and answer those questions for you. Let's start by expanding on those acronyms. OSS is short for Operational Support Systems or Operations Support Systems, depending on who you ask. And a BSS is a Business Support System. So we'll come back to those in a moment, but first we'll look into why they're important. Why does the world even need an OSS or BSS? Well, it all starts with a person who wants to communicate with the world. This could be via voice, SMS, email, web chat, web browsing, apps on your smartphone, or a myriad of other methods. Or perhaps you just want to be communicated to. But to communicate remotely, you first must acquire a device. That device might be a phone, a tablet, a PC, or a number of other things. But a device alone doesn't allow communication. It needs to connect to another device or devices. But how do the devices connect? Well, that's where one of the most complex and widespread machines on our planet comes in. The world's telecommunications network. A global interconnection of communication networks. The long distance infrastructure that helps to form this mesh of networks is mostly built by communication service providers. They're also known as telcos, telecommunication providers, carriers, or just CSPs. If you ask them nicely and pay a hopefully small fee, they will connect you to their network, allowing you to interact with other devices on their network not to mention interconnecting you with all of the other CSP networks that they route traffic through. Making the connection to the network sounds easier than it really is. So the CSP has to make a market aware of their offerings, that they exist through sales and marketing. And speaking of offerings, the CSP has to offer a service type, known by CSPs as a product. This might be a mobile plan, or a data service, or hundreds of other product types. The customer has to order a service via a service order. In some cases, they may have to request a customised quote from a CSP before being able to place an order via customer support teams. So now we need to activate that order. Since the service consumes network resources, those resources first need to be planned, built, and configured. The service instance and or the network needs to be specifically designed and configured, activated and maintained. This is where the field workforce comes in. Then once everything is lined up, the customer's service can be activated, i.e. the customer can start using the service. Once the service is activated, the customer can then start using the service and being billed. We also need to ensure the quality of the customer's experience is high so that they continue to use the service. This requires assurance activities to monitor, maintain and repair in the event of failures or outages. Now, all of these steps and more are facilitated by our OSS and their close relatives, the BSS. OSS and BSS are the great connectors. They operationalize our networks, converting network assets into revenue generating services. The OSS and BSS are the glue that connect customers to the network. So while this diagram may imply that there's one overarching OSS BSS across the whole global network, in fact, each CSP has their own OSS and BSS. Often these comprise hundreds of separate but integrated applications to make up their complete OSS and BSS stack. Now, you may be wondering, how could there possibly be so many applications? What do they do 
And what's the difference between an OSS and BSS? Well, they're all great questions, and we'll get to them shortly.